Good afternoon, it's Tony Hayes from Panel Investigation UK. Today's date is 18th of February 2022. Uh, still in the midst of uh, the storm Eunice. Um, just coming up to half past three on a Friday afternoon, um, blowing a gale out there. So, um, we've got some, a little, something a little, little bit different today. Um, there were two particular aspects. We're now today on the Chester investigation dealing with movie 391. Um, th there were two areas here. One is um, the balls lighting up. So let me let me just um, go back a minute. Okay. So this is a general, I'm just going to turn the sound down for a second because I'm, I'm going to do these separately, write these up. Uh, I'm not going to bore you anymore with this. And it's the same with that one. That one. And that one. So the way that I'm going to work with that, I'm, I'm actually just going to... Um, Record it and the way that they do record it. The movie I did before this one, which is movie 390, we dealt with that light anomaly, which turned out to be some sort of flaky dust coming off the ceiling. The three um, alarms that we got um, from the trigger object balls I've just recorded there the video number, the time of the first light, time of the second light. So it seemed to be the the first one it lit up twice, the second one lit up three times, and the and the last one lit up um, just the once. And that was in a space of around about um, eleven minutes, something around there. That, that those occurred. I'm not saying it's any more than just a simple case of recording it. That's all. So then for. I'm going to deal with that, uh, that on that basis. Now, where this one gets interesting is it's incredibly rare for the microphone to pick up the same sound on all three cameras. Yeah, we have on this one. It's never happened before. We've got the two window cameras which have picked up the same anomaly on the, um, on the two cameras, but we never had it. Whereas camera one has picked it up. So, without question, this noise is within the room. It must be sort of central um, of the room for it to be picked up by all sets of microphones. And because when we can analyse this, the volume, we should be able to get, get give us an indication on the volume. Um, which camera is the closest to the uh, the sound? So this is going to be an interesting one. So what I'm going to do is those four lights. I'll just record after the I've ended the movie. It, it takes me about ten minutes to do with that. I'll just bore you stupid if it bother. So what we're going to do is concentrate on these three. Now the cameras themselves are, are going to be running the summer time <clears throat> within uh, a second or so so at the moment they're all at 2302 and is it 36 seconds that's it the start that's the sound that's the sound now when these came in I got concerned about this pile of boxes but so the following day we did do some sound checks on these they're actually empty boxes uh, this is quite a solid sound um, bang sound but checking the camera none, nothing seems to move so I'm fairly confident that it's not coming from that area then we got camera 2 this is the window one. 
that is louder than the first one. So that's you, you can just about see there the the shadows of the um, uh, wooded area because th this camera points out towards the building. It's fastened on the window inside, but it's, it looks outside the building, and it's a microphone facing, and it's picked that sound up. And if you listen to both of them together. That sounds louder, closer to the window. So if we look at that in context, it's got to be, it's closer to that camera. It's louder on the window cam. That's the other one. So what's causing the sound? Nothing was found out of place. It's quite a solid bang. It appears to be closer to these cameras there because this is camera one. It's not quite as loud. This camera is that. So um, So the way I think we'll work with this is we'll open up Mixcraft because there's nothing actually to be seen. Um, and what we'll do, we'll be one at a time. So um, yeah. So this is the first one. And all the times they're exactly the same. Which is there. I'll just go through these again. Um, so that's 2302 39, 2302 34. Within a couple of seconds, 23.02.35. So they're all performing roughly within it because these have got to be set up um, manually. Um, they're not computer based sort of time. So they're certainly within a couple of seconds of one another, which is absolutely fine. So we can actually say that all these three cameras themselves are performing similar. Uh, what I'm also going to check for while I'm into Mixcraft is latency so we can see on this one on camera uh, this is camera one it's got about almost two seconds of latency um, there so we might find the other cameras may have no uh, latency um, that would account for another couple of seconds difference it will also is it's down to the processing speed of the camera it's recording the um, the movie at the same time it's got to stream audio alongside it and because of the processor speed it, it lags which is what they call latency it's that delay uh, between a second and a half two seconds so I've seen on other cameras before so we've got to take an account of that so this one just highlight you've got no amplification on whatsoever and what we need to do is just bring in the legacy analyzer. This is my old preferred analyzer. Um, we're going to put it on average and we'll just play that a couple of times and then uh, take a screenshot.
and call this cam one. Because that's the same as the graph that they have on there. On there. That's that camera there, camera one. Important when you start calling, naming, putting, giving things labels that, you know, you have got a, 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 a technical reference because somebody reading the document may will not have the in, in depth detail you have. So putting as much information as you can. Right. Okay. So we've dealt with that. Um, okay. I'll get rid of that for a second. What we now do is. Just, just to leave the tracks out. We can get another video track and we do the same as what we did before. We had the video clip. Now it's, uh, I'm going to call this cam, this is camera 2B. Okay, same again, we're not interested in the, the visual, nothing to be seen. Let's grab that one. Play it. Yeah, that's performing slightly differently. What the sound is, is, um, is mystifying. It's incredibly common in general historical hauntings, hauntings of long standing, uh, together with the poltergeist phenomena, appears to be able to just produce incredible sounds, um, raps, bangs, thuds, yet you can't find any reason for it you're often looking in the wrong place because the it doesn't appear to be acting the same as what you would do if someone thumped a wall um, with the way that sound travels on molecules and gets picked up by the ear sense uh, receptors generally gives you an idea where the sound is coming from when we've been in this building on the ear sounds we're looking around in circles we're not quite sure where it's come from We'll often say ceiling area, skirting board. That's about as close as we can say, which is basically up or down. It just not got no idea where it, directly where it comes from. So what's the relevance to these unexplained bangs, thuds and raps? Absolutely no idea. We speak to other uh, investigators that have also looked at this type of, um, of sound are equally as baffled why does the stuff make sound um, the raps in particular are quite unique um, their frequency structure is different than what it would be if you uh, attempted to uh, produce a sound yourself I've never been able to get even close to it so it seems that the raps I'm confident I can say what its signature is. When they lift up in um, volume then into bangs and then the thoughts, on one, one occasion, very early on in the case, it sounded like someone had come, come into the, the, the main office and just threw a set of metal stairs, steps in the air, ladders, metal, metal ladders, threw them in the air and come crashing down the floor. Yeah, looking at the camera, we couldn't see anything. The, I only went back in the building, couldn't find anything, completely baffled us. No idea whatsoever what caused it. Um, and, and it's one of them unusual ones again that I do not understand the relevance to making noises. Uh, what is going on with this stuff? Um, Okay, just got one more to do. Then we should be able to compare them side by side. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to see what they actually look like. 
yeah. Okay. And it's an identical process as what we did before. Not quite as loud, that one. And this is cam two. Okay, let's close down. So what we'll do, we'll put all these in a, a folder. Um, okay. So that is camera, camera one. So it's going for about say 65 hertz 70 hertz okay same again so that's cam 2 um so cam is relatively loud i think the reason why it doesn't sound as loud is because there's a load of this mid frequency here 600 hertz it's missing which is in that one so in other words that the actual freaking itself is thicker um, which is no doubt is almost down to zero around about 600 hertz um, if you look at there 600 hertz a lot louder and it's the same with that one um, so that's cam that's cam one Camera two B and it's camera two. So that suggests that camera two B on the window ledge is the loudest. That's forty two. Okay. Um, <laughs> so that's sort of suggesting then. I'm not just can't remember which window it's on. It might be that one there. And that's to be if that's the loudest it's got to be around this area It's almost like someone getting out of a bunch of um, books and just dropping them onto a table. Um, I have no idea. Um, we can see clearly there's no one in the room and we can't see any movement of objects. So it's one of them again that we simply hear the sound, it's that's incredibly loud, three cameras pick it up. Yeah, we don't know where it's coming from. Bizarre. Okay, see you on the next movie. Bye.